guys in the last video we wrote this code and in this video i'm gonna make a uh, project of titanic life and death prediction if a specific person a person was on there uh, whether he would have survived it or not so i have imported numpy i have also i have to also import pandas let me just do this pandas as pd okay now i have to read the data so that is going to be df yes equal to pd dot read underscore csp so this is our data now let's look at also df dot head so now we have passenger id we have survived we have p class uh, we have name we have uh, gender we have age we have this whatever this is let me just search it on the internet so sib sp is the number of sibling or spouse uh, spouses around abroad and parch is the parents and children uh, abroad okay so this is this then it is the ticket number the fare what was the cabin and what is embarked here uh, we also have to check the embarked so what is embarked here and uh, the embarked is like you can say that where the passenger was going to so we have to delete some columns because those are not necessary at all so i'm going to set a list for those columns and those columns would be let's copy just copy this and then i will do the rest okay so we do not need passenger we do not need name okay and we also don't need the ticket number we also don't need the fare and we also don't need the this so passenger id name we do not need name we do not need this okay we need the ticket number we do not need the ticket number basically and that's why we are going to delete it then cabin and embarked is also going to be deleted okay so Kevin has a lot of uh, NaN values, so that's why I am not uh, con taking considering it. Also, Kevin uh, is just showing what is the room number of the room number or the cabin number of the passenger. So it does not it is not necessary in our problem. Okay, so these are the values that I do not want with my data set. Okay, so what I am going to do is df dot df equal to df dot drop and tell calls and i want the columns basically because drop can occur on the basis of the rows and on the basis of the columns and one here is going to indicate the columns okay so it is going to be this now if we will look at the df dot columns you can see that we have survived we have p class we have sex we have age we have uh, sibling and spouses and we have parents and children okay so this is what we want now we can also check for some info uh, information so like like this so as you can see here it has no none well no null values uh, it is of integer it is of integer object float integer integer okay and we can ha uh, we can have uh, some values that we do not want so let's if we will see df df so as you can see here in the age part we have some nan values so what i am going to do is df equal to df dot fill na fill na so it is going to fill all the values and in this i am going to say df age uh, dot me so i am going to fill the values with the mean of the age okay so now what it is going to do is uh, so df dot info now everyone every uh, every feature has 891 values okay so this is what we have done now we also need to convert some values to uh, let's suppose uh, let we also we just need to convert this value into our what do we say uh, you can say 
okay so how yes we need to convert this value into integers okay so let's do that df uh, for, for first of all we need to import to a uh, label encoder so from sklearn dot preprocessing import label encoder and le equal to label encoder okay so S K L E A R N. Okay, now what it is going to do? Def sex and S should be capital S A X. Yeah, equal to L E dot fit transform. And here we need to pass the uh, column that we want to convert. Okay, so this is this should do it. Okay, so now let's see df dot head. So as you can see here, we have uh, converted it successfully to integers. Okay, so first was male, so it has considered male as one and female as zero. Now we do not need to do much changes, but what we need to do is we need to change these features. So the best way would be to just pass them. Uh, just to pass them with the train function but uh, i'm not going to do that so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to change these values into everything else uh, let me just do it so our output is survived okay uh, let me just yeah To again copy it okay now what I also need to do is I need to change this output into the survived section uh, not section I, I need to change this output because I was considering that our output value will have output column but right now I have to change this okay so or what i can do is uh, let me just do one more thing so df dot columns columns equal to we need to change it to offset so now if you will see output then it is uh, not output if we'll see df then you will see okay let me use df dot add so now our output is, uh, has changed from survive to output so now we can run our data so now let's just run all the data all the functions here and what i'm going to do is i have to make I have to make a split of our data so split equal to int let's take 70% 0.7 to df dot shape shape 0 okay this is the split and what I'm going to do is train data equal to df SPLIT. so what uh, I'm going to do is I have split our train uh, data into training and the testing set. So test underscore data equal to df split and test underscore data equal to test underscore data dot reset index. You also need to reset the index and then it is going to be drop equal to okay so now i am going to just uh, use this decision tree class and it is going to be dt equal to decision tree okay and depth oh i have used seven 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 
db th db th so we have created an instance now what i am going to do is i am going to train it so train train underscore data okay and train underscore data so what it is doing data frame has no attribute train uh, it should be dt not df so df features is not defined okay so features spelling is wrong f e a t u r e s now it is training on our data and info gain is not defined so i think spelling is mistake is there again so info gains info underscore gains dot append i have the output is features info gain okay so the problem is here it should be info gains and it is first splitting okay data frame has no i think that i have made a mistake here and the mean part should be in that mean yeah so mean is a function so i need to do that first okay and here also so is this splitting uh, on the basis of okay so it is again showing me an error and data frame has not put output okay so i have a mistake here again uh, output Output. so i think it should work now yeah so as you can see here it is splitting on the basis of various factors again and again so our output is done now what i am going to do is okay so let's make a uh, y bread y bread equal to empty list for i x in range in this test underscore data dot shape zero so i'm getting over all the test values and from that i'm uh, getting out the output so y bread append dt dot predict I'm predicting on the basis of all the values. Okay, so dt dot predict, and in this I'm passing test underscore data dot log ix. So I'm get uh, passing through all the values here, and I'm appending that those values in the y. So now I have y underscore red, and let's see the first ten values. So the the ten values uh, is positive. We only have one positive, so it means that all of these persons are going to die, but this person is going to live. Okay, so let's also make a label encoder again so that we can compare them. Or let's use this for i in range len of y underscore red if y underscore red i is equal to equal to negative y red i equal to zero else uh, y red i is going to be one so we are converting them to zero and one again so that we can have or we can see whether our output uh, is correct or we want to see basically we want to check the accuracy so for that we are doing this okay now if we'll see y bread y underscore bread so as you can see here we have zero and zero one zero one 
okay so now so now what we need to do is np dot mean y underscore red red equal to equal to test underscore data survived uh, not survived but output okay so we have <coughs> we have gotten uh, 83 percent accuracy and it is a pretty good accuracy so now you can see like how it can uh, what do you say <coughs> how it can uh, you know split the data so what it has done is that okay so it has split the data first on the basis of the sex so the first is here then it has split this data on the basis of p class p class okay so that data is here then again it has split on the basis of age because it is uh, uh, working recursively uh, recursively so what it is doing it is first uh, split it is first making the left part then when it will traverse back then it will going to make the right part so this is how it is working and i don't think there is anything else to it so if you want to see what you uh, you can do is df dot uh, target or not df dt dot target you can check okay so target is negative and you can check df dot ft so it is saying that okay we have split on the sex so this is like this then what it, you can do is df dot left dot f key so here it has a split on the basis of p class p class okay and if you want to see what is on the right then just type right and it has also on the right side also it has a split on the basis of p class okay now let's check uh, right left so the right part and the left of the right is parch okay and let's check right right so here it has a split on the basis of age okay now uh, let's see left right so here it has a split on the basis of parch parch and let's see left left so it has a split on the basis of the age so this is how our splitting is uh, working and i think that uh, this is it for this tutorial and thanks for watching see you next time